Welcome to my first video ever on the channel. This is Toxic Thorn. Um, I'm glad to welcome you all here. Um, I'm going to be playing a few different games. Um, I think I have a Martin Humans build, a green white counter, plus one plus one counters build. Um, I have green black death touch. That one's pretty interesting. And last but not least, I do have a Jund mid range uh, right at the end. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. I hope you guys have a lot of fun watching. I'm gonna do a game real quick. I'm doing unranked because you know I don't want super like to have to deal with that. Also, I don't have a deck that I'm super cool with. I'm still kind of learning. Like I play Marty Humans, but it's kind of fallen off now. Um. Oh yeah, I got the. I like knights. What what can I say, bro? Um. This is a hand. Um, it's not bad. I can, uh, yeah, I can keep this because I have my sources. Um, I'll start off with Godless. Let's just start with like one because it's color efficient. Um, that's pretty good. Turn two Stormfist is not a bad play. It never really is. Um. Yeah, that's fine with me. Um, so, do we pay two? I think we pay two. Cast Kudra. Get the all seed out. That's not bad. And then we attack with our menace guy. Just help out a little bit, you know? Help out the war effort. Um, hopefully he doesn't just... He needs the, a way to get life again. Because otherwise... Okay, yeah, that'll... That'll... Um, next turn we definitely just dire tactics. Again, I think. Um... We'll that, that is... Fine, I suppose. Oh, okay. This is good. Good, good. We got another land. We can go hero and desire tactics. Which is definitely a good thing. And then, next turn, we can just bedevil the shadow here. Okay, we're in a good place. We're in a good place, guys. Um, I promise. Like, we've got our engine going. Um, Tomit. Interesting. What's this thing do again? <laughs> Hold up. Um, lands on the battlefield and lands. Graveyard can't be the target of the spells in a board. That doesn't do anything to me. Um, I will pay two life again. Um, I'll storm this later again. I'll bedevil the shadow spear. And that one just turn everything sideways, honestly. Like, there's not a whole lot that can happen here. Like, we're kind of popping off a little bit. Not gonna lie. Wait, hold on. Did I, I lost? Did I lose? If I take one more... Hold on. I've, I've mathed it, dude. It's fine. Oh, no. We're dead. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, yeah. We're dead. No. We don't concede. We don't concede for no reason. It's okay. This guy's dumb. He doesn't think he can win right here. Um, we'll get two lands. Uh, wait, three. Uh, yeah, definitely. You definitely could have won, but okay. Um, do we win here is the question. Is there a way that we win here? Um, I definitely go Tajik. Which lets me go into Judith. Um, I don't really think it matters what I think. So I'll do this. Oh uh, yeah, dunk the Shadow Spear out. Um, General's Enforcer doesn't help us here because them surviving another turn, I don't get another turn. Thank you. So um, then we go do this. Get another trigger for hero. You're going to work with this game, not gonna lie. Um, that I just think. I think we definitely just turn sideways. Um, I do we? Yeah, I'll do that. Make one of my smaller guys a four power dude. 
And I think that's game. I'm gonna say because no matter what happens here, if he if he lives, I lose. If I if he dies, I win, obviously. So um I think I win here. Because he's he'll be at seven essentially, so just these guys getting through will kill, and I have more than that, so I think we got it. I think we got it in the bag. Um I misplayed, but then he misplayed, so I mean I guess it cancels out. Um, yeah, I'll kill Atomic first. Not sure how much that matters. There we go. Good game, Haas. Um, he had me on the ropes, not gonna lie. I was at two life. <laughs> if he survived, he could have just passed turn and I would have died. That's good. So, we got, honestly, a pretty bad hand. This hand is not good. I would much rather have more, um, two, more lands, or more two drops, specifically, um, Mentor, so we're gonna mulligan, uh, this is a fine hand, I don't need both of the stone coils, however, hopefully we can get a land that I can justify only, uh, putting in taps, because I want a stone coil after Conclave Mentor, because that's just a better play overall. Or I get a Pell Collector. I didn't. So I will do this. Since it's my best play. Um, it might be short-sighted. It probably is. As this Pell Collector will be a 2-2 thing. I, I'm positive of it. Oh, Scavenger. God. I, did, I couldn't get it. Get that um, alternate art. Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, I wish I could, because God, it's so good. I mean, he's just eating this skeleton, man. It's great. Oh, God. Okay, this is what we call bad, in case you're wondering. I guess I'll have to pay two for Night of Autumn. Night of Autumn will be pretty big, so let's get real. It'll be a 5-4. Um... Which means that even if Pell Collector gets one bigger, he can't really swing in. Yorvo can't really swing in, that's for sure. Um. Oh, um, that's fun. Um, you're gonna destroy Stone Coil, yep. Um, and now you're an 8 8. I think I just lose here. I am not sure how I get out of this one, guys. Oh, we have Temple Garden. This is a bad thing. Going down to three right now is maybe not the best idea. Um, so I'll have an Iron Tash and some Vertical Formation. Yeah, there were... I mean, like, that did a lot. Don't get me wrong. But, like, he could definitely afford to take that. And I think I'm just... Because we have this 8-8, eight, eight, um, there's two 3-3s three, three that can come in. Um, and Conclave Mentor won't trigger because I'm dead. <laughs> That'll do it. Um... That deck usually pops off better. The mulligan was very unfortunate. Um, I can do another game there. Yeah, yeah. Um, it might seem like I'm talking to the chat. I'm not, I promise. Uh, so, it's been 11 minutes of recording right now. Um, honestly, it doesn't feel like that long. Um, just waiting. I'll, I'll probably cut out the waiting periods once I learn how to um but yeah as you can see zero frames as just like your life um so, so no, okay I'm not even gonna try to say that because it might be stupid um this now this is a hand boys this is a hand and a half we are we're chilling um Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, let's... Pell Collector. Um, don't quite have to go over there. 
Do we Pell Collector? This turn we cast Conclave. Okay, hold on. He gets his two counters, bringing him up to a 3-3. Three, three. Big head. You know? And then next turn, assuming all my things are still here. Um, this is fine. Uh, next turn we can just still do something similar. Um... Assuming we still have Con... Uh, even if we don't have Conclave Mentor, Pell Collector, or Scavenging Ooze, and then Stone Coil for like four. That seems really good. Like, he's gotta deal with these. Um, with all these creatures. And soon he's gonna have two to deal with. Um, and we even got the second for it, so we don't have to play two untapped Temple Gardens and have this happen. Like, we're kinda popping. You know? We're kinda getting there. I don't know what this guy is. He's, I don't know, red green control, I guess. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna try Scooze? Okay, that's um, fine with me. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you do here? I'm not sure. Thriller possibility? What, what are you? Are you some? This is some wacky deck. I'm not. Maybe I just haven't seen this deck list, but like. Okay, you're playing Phoenix. I haven't seen a Phoenix deck in fucking months, I swear. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, that's really fine. This is really fine, actually, yeah. Um... Like, I don't know, I guess you're popping off or whatever. But, like... Haggle... Not bad. Uh, unfortunately, in this fe you have to cast this phoenix, which really feels bad. Yeah, that feels bad. That's not great. Like you can tell, he really doesn't want that art like art like phoenix in the exile. He's like, um, which is fine for me. I mean, honestly, if he's um having trouble, yeah, he just has to play. Um, I will pay the two life to activate half the damage. Like, this is fine, bro. We are popping. Okay. This isn't exactly what this deck is meant to do. I mean, I'm really just kind of getting carried by Stone Coil and Pell Collector. Which, typically, you can definitely get carried by Pell Collector in this game, like, come on. You you saw what was possible. Pell Collector and a Mentor and a Pell Collector scavenging news into fucking two stone coils, that... That hurts, dude. I swear, that, it'll hurt. And the stone coils would have come in at seven. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh, that is so good. Um... Yeah, but this deck is sick. Um... The only unfortunate part is like, yeah, I won't do that. Let's see. Um, the only unfortunate part is if you don't have a Bazzari's Lieutenant, you're really weak to board wipes. If you do have Bazzari's Lieutenant, uh, you kind of say fuck you to board wipes. Um, yeah, this is fine. Foulmire. I mean, turn one of foul, Foulmire isn't that often. It's just, I mean, you're ignoring a bit of the card. It's whatever. Um, but I would much rather have had Vampire of the Dark, obviously. But that's there for a reason. It is a choice that exists. Um, I'll Meyer straight. Um, would have liked the Castle Lock, the lane, not gonna lie. Another land would do a lot here. Ooh, look, I got Doggo. Um, got the white Doggo, okay. Arboreal, that's fine. Like, because the thing is, my whole deck just swings in Arboreal and doesn't care anymore. Um, we did get the another, another land, um, so I'm gonna Leyline Prowler. I know a lot of people are like, oh, but Cheville is so good. Cheville is very good. 
but combo when you can hit him with the one two instead of just the one it it's more efficient is what I'm trying to say also lifelink helps with like adding out life which is nice that's kind of the point of it I guess to regain life or gain more life than you started with Uh, two paradise fruits. That's uh, interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'll shoot Bill here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, all of these can swing in. But Shaville blocks a paradise fruit. Really like this happen, which he won't. Um, and like free damage is damage. I gain a life. Blah blah. blah. It's good. Um, Ram through doesn't do anything this turn. Unfortunately, I should have. Played untapped on undergrowth, under overgrown. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay, your boy's getting lands. Uh, not a problem for me. Oh, by the way, this is definitely like a Cynic Eden deck, probably. So um, that ought to be fun. Um, I can do this. Yeah, I can do this. I, yeah, Shavil can't even target any of those. Um, so, if Shavil dies, we'll play the other one. Which it looks like they're gonna do. No, you can't do it this time, but I can. Elder Gargaroth, that's a card that dies to ram through. That's a little unfortunate, not gonna lie. Ah. Uh, play Shavil number two. Um, okay. Whenever he attacks or blocks, I mean, he's probably not gonna block. I don't, I, I think I just do it now. Um, bop bop. He doesn't have a lot of mana. He might have an answer for ramp through if I wait a turn. Um, I'll also use one of my late runs, probably, to make a vampire who died. This game is a bit easier than I'm used to with this deck. Um, I'm not sure all these plays are the best, but I mean, they certainly keep him alive. Which I guess is... The, the point of the game is to not die, so... Or, well, the point is to kill your opponent before you die. But part of that's not dying, you know. Here's Ugin, uh, and he just might have to yeah. Unutilized knowledge. He's rotting. Oh yeah. Yeah, like that's the thing. I. Oh fuck. Ah. Oh, good game, bro. Good game, bro. <laughs> God, that's what we call a lucky top deck. I no longer wish. Yeah, I gotta play that in there for a reason. Um, Questing Beast, very good. I'm not sure what he has here. Shark Tycoon for seven? Okay, go for it. But yeah, block me. Block me. Bah! Dead. The whole deck has death touch, boy. Theoretically, you should have just done it for four, so that you had mana left over in case you wanted to do something. Which is always a possibility. 
Like, you can always, like, draw an opt and be like, oh, okay. Like, you're lucky you draw, drew Uro. Because if you'd drawn, like, opt, it would have been a lot less good. So you could take all of your mana into it. Um, okay. The game is turning. Like... I've been board wiped, and that's never good. <laughs> uh, I guess we've Raska. I'm good at what I do. I wanna keep your friends close. Kill your enemies. Um, cause I mean, she makes little one one with that touch. I'm like, that's not a bad thing. That's pretty good in a deck that cares about having a bunch of death touch creatures. Like, you'll attack, I'll have to block, you'll be able to recast them. Like, this is, the, he's in a commanding position. Um, I can try to wriggle out of it if I get a little lucky with draws. Um, I should have ways, I do have ways of drawing cards, um, it's not a lot. Uh, some of them are tied to a little Endings are inevitable. Yeah, that ain't good, Chief. Um nobody appreciates my handiwork. See, I I appreciate your handiwork, Raska. It's okay. I promise. Keep your friends close. Kill your enemies. Um, yeah. This is this is something. Um he's a lot less incentivized to attack the first. But he's going he's going to. He sure as hell is going to. Um Do I keep Frasca at 1 or a 1-1 one, one with Death Touch? I think they can kill Frasca. Don't flatter yourself. Cure a beat to Seagar. Best. Um, that is. Not as. Not as bad as I would normally assume. Um. Yeah, we definitely don't cast Hooded Blightwing. Uh, we pass. And then cast Hooded, Hooded Blightwing next turn after you've tapped it. We'll tap my stuff down. Fine. Um, we will just cast Hooded Blightwing next turn. Like, and Hooded Blightwing is a good card, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's pretty fog. Um, more cultivate. God, are you gonna? <laughs> are you gonna just keep doing this? It's just like I. Is that all of them? That better be fucking all of them. I. I think I counted four. One, two, three. Yep, there's four. Um, here's Uro. That one's gonna get sacrificed. You're gonna cast it. Oh, Albert, Albert, okay. I'm gonna say 12. Ow. That's a bit. Um, that is not what I wanted to draw. I think I lose here. I mean, not. Okay, I say that, it's not true. Target permit. Oh, wait. It doesn't have to be tabbed. That's. Yeah, I know, I lose. Okay. Nothing I did there would help. There was nothing I could do. Bro, why can't it. Why isn't it tap permanent? That would make so much more sense. Like, you subjugated it, and now you're, like, it's fully under your control after a turn. Dude, Pokemon. Wow. Um, we've I, we've got all our colors. <laughs> I guess we've got our colors. Um, yeah, and we can even quest and beast on turn three. But that's not a bad idea. In fact, it's typically a good idea. Um, there it is. 
And then we'll play Mountain into Questing Beast next turn. Assuming we didn't don't lose the paradise group, but not There's no way you pop paradise group for that. Um yep, you're gonna get your land, blah blah blah. You're gonna play our Boreal Grazer and put that mountain down. Yeah, okay, okay. I kinda I, I see you. I'll play Custom Goose. Uh, because surprise, surprise, Questing Beast is what we call good. Um, it is typically something I can answer. Oh, that's what we call a fucking baller move. That move is baller as fuck. Um, huh. I mean, we can get out of it. Um, I mean, really, we just fucking created question beasts. Just fine with me. Um, I'll cast another paradise to it. And then we'll, yeah, we're gonna heartless act this question beast. Oh wait, god damn it! I clicked the wrong one. Um, we want this one. And then we'll just pass. Um, okay. That, honestly, wasn't expecting Electro Dominance, Questing Beast. Um, very, very big play. Um, we need more lands. Surprise, surprise. I'm not, by the way. For the record, not surprised because this, this guy got more lands. Um, yeah. Um, I'll pay the two lands. Uh, not this. I want Vivian. Uh, we're, we're gonna plus one. For, um... For Vigilance. I like Vigilance. Vigilance is good. Um, I'd like you to meet my friend. Yes, I do know Stop. I'm putting this one for the giant that they are. I'm aware of that. Um, and now, next turn, if we're lucky, we can minus two Vivian, cast Terror of the Peace, oh, or is it just gonna, like, no, that's fine, we still cast Terror of the Peace, like, that doesn't change anything. This is why I Elder Gargaroth, Inter uh, interesting choice, um... Terror of the Peaks. That does matter, by the way. Oh, uh, we'll just deal with two to the face. We got two lands out of the way. Does Elder... I don't think Elder Gargaroth swings into two Myers, right? It feels like a bad play. Bro, I'm not sure if he's land. Swing into these Myers, right? That is an amazingly unfortunate thing to have had happen to me. This thing has reach! I'm fucking stupid. Okay. Dude, it's so big. How am I supposed to deal with it? Um. Okay, it's been about 50 minutes. Uh, 2 minutes to 50 minutes, actually. Um, so I'm gonna cut it there. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Um. I'll probably play a different game next time, just so you know. Um, I just enjoy Magic. Um, I play Wizard 101. I play Minecraft. I can figure out other stuff. I could probably do Diablo 3. I think I still have that on here. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let me know how it went. Uh, if y'all enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for watching.